Okay, welcome back. So since the announcement of the new cartridge called the 30 Super Carry, designed from the ground up for EDC and concealed carry, conversations have sprung up for when this will be adapted to the popular micro compact class of carry pistols, currently the hottest thing going in EDC. Tukes Outdoor Adventures released a video last night detailing some of the advantages of increased capacity in his favorite micro compact, the Springfield Hellcat. I'll drop a card to his video in the upper right hand corner of the screen, check out his channel and subscribe as well. Smith & Wesson is now officially the first company to throw their hat into the Micro Compact 30 Super Carry ring with the announcement of the Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. The Shield Plus in 9mm was originally adapted from the single stack Smith & Wesson Shield which was immensely popular and I actually carried it um, in California for a year and a half. Uh, the Shield Plus was released on March 15th of 2021 and, and improved standard flush mag capacity from the original Shield from 7 plus 1 to 10 plus 1. Extended mag capacity increased from 8 plus 1 in the original Shield to 13 plus 1 in the new Shield Plus. Other improvements included the flat face trigger, anyone who hasn't shot the original Shield hinge trigger knows exactly what I'm talking about and just how massive an improvement that is. Uh, an optic cut, more aggressive stippling, fiber optic front sight, as well as a longer slide barrel option and even porting on the performance setter versions. The base model 9mm Shield Plus stats are as follows, 3.1 inch barrel length, 20.2 ounces weight, 1.1 inch width, 4.6 inch height, which that alone has always made me question its micro compact status. If you look at the Hellcat with right around a four inch grip, which is the toughest part to conceal, uh, it's not even in the same category, but that should be another video. White dot sights, barrel and slide stainless steel with armor knight finish, polymer frame, striker fired. Other options include, like I said before, the optics ready version and a longer barreled performance center version with ports. As to specific stats on the new Shield Plus and 30 Super Carry, I'm guessing it will be very close to the current 9mm version, but as of now, Smith has not updated their website to include any of the 30 Super Carry options, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm sure it'll be coming soon. What we can tell from the firearm blob picture, which is currently the only picture that I have found of the new Shield Plus, is that just as Federal claimed, it shows the Shield Flush Fit Magazine with 12 rounds, which is a two round improvement over the nine millimeter Shield Plus version. So my question is, and what I'm thinking, let's assume you plan to adopt the new 30 Super Carry. You have an open mind and you're willing to give it a shot. Since the firearm blog says ammo is starting MSRP at $30.99 for 50 round boxes of target ammo and $26.99 for 20 round boxes of defense ammo. This was one of the main considerations and questions people were having as to availability and price if it was gonna be uh, affordable, because obviously if it's not even in the same ballpark as nine millimeter, nobody's gonna wanna switch over. So here's my question. Are you going to wait until other micro compact manufacturers adapt their pistols to 30 super carry or even bring out new models? Um, I'm thinking Ruger, Taurus, Springfield, Sig, kel Kimber, just to name a few. Or will you get the new Shield Plus or even the new Shield Easy in 30 super carry this year? Drop it in the comments below. I really know what you guys are thinking right now. So as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you get the chance. Thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.